Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day. It has been a while since we've seen each other and um, a lot of that has to do with this. So if you haven't seen the Lake Kiwi video, kind of made the announcement over there. Um, I'm due in January, so it's gonna be here before we know it. And uh, like I said, that kind of has a lot to do with why posting anything new between videos and blog posts, why that has been so just sparse. So we've been talking about starting a family for a while now and decided that this was the year. We're just gonna go ahead. And um, in April, we got that exciting news and I thought I was going to be like a lot of the friends and family members I had talked to who said that, you know, they either had no first trimester symptoms at all or they had several weeks before any of that really kicked in and when it did, it wasn't all that bad. It passed pretty quickly. I thought I was going to be like them and boy was I wrong. Like a week and a half after we got that exciting news, all of it just hit me at once. The trifecta of nausea and fatigue and heartburn and this is going to sound like a total exaggeration like there's there's no way but it was so bad for me that there were entire days in which I could not get off the couch I was so physically sick so clearly if I can't even stand up I can't even look at my phone without getting motion sick there's no way I'm driving myself to a trailhead and doing a backpacking trip and so I missed out on backpacking throughout the end of April, all of May. In June, I got this lovely little break, just this four days in which I actually felt like a person again. And I was able to go to Panther Town on an overnight and record a quick update and everything. And then all of it just came right back and it wasn't until the end of July that I actually started to feel better again. Around the same time, so end of summer, unfortunately we got some news that my mother-in-law was diagnosed with breast cancer. So that has been very difficult for our family, but we are not losing faith. You know, God is still sovereign despite her going through this, despite our whole family going through this, uh, and he will be glorified through it. We firmly believe that he can and will heal her, and so we have not stopped fasting and praying and it would really mean the world to me if you kept her in your prayers as well. So it's been just this crazy swirl of emotions and chaos. So we've got the excitement of a baby is going to be here soon. And then we have this kind of trial, tribulation we're walking through as a family at the very same time. This is just such a minor little thing compared to everything else going on at the same time. But when I finally did get a chance to backpack and, you know, record a video and all of that, my laptop decided to have issues. At first it was the fan and so it took a couple weeks to get the fans replaced. And then the screen itself just quit. Obviously I can't edit a video with it in that condition. And so my laptop was in the shop for almost a month. Like I said, that's a very small, minor little thing, but it's kind of further explanation for how quiet everything has been on both the blog and the channel. That kind of brings us to September. I'm finally able to get out and backpack again. And so Jordan went with me and we did a birthday trip and we did <laughs> Max Patch to Hot Springs and a uh, video itinerary trail journal for that will be coming out at some point. I don't want to set a hard date because I don't know when I'm going to get that finished. But just know that it's, it's being worked on. So we did that trip and oh my goodness, uh, it was tough. It was really tough, uh, but it was good because it kind of showed me my limits. Ramp. And it's kind of informed a lot of the little outings I've gone on since. And so I took the dogs to Lake Kiwi. We had a great time. Like I said, that video is already out there. That was a lot of fun because I had never backpacked with the dogs by myself before. I thought, you know, I can't handle both of them. I have to have my husband there to use this big scary man voice if any of them steps out of line. But uh, I realized that pretty soon I'm gonna have to learn 
to do that. And so he was away on a work trip and it was a perfect opportunity and we had a great time. Jordan's on another work trip, so I decided to take both dogs out on another short and sweet overnight camping trip. We're at Raven Rock State Park in North Carolina right now. The last video that is coming down the pike is Grayson Highlands. I know I went last year and did like a whole big video about that, but there was a bunch of stuff I didn't get to see. A couple of trail junctions that I came to, I was like, I wonder what's out there. You know, I wish I could go check that out, but because that's not really in the plan and I only have so many days to do the route that I actually planned, those had to be saved till next time. And uh, that is just gonna have a trail journal and a video that comes along with it. I may go on some more trips throughout the rest of the fall. They will definitely be shorter, milder adventures as we approach winter just because I want to take it easy and not like overextend myself. So gonna have shorter, milder adventures going into winter. The last two things I'll say before I let you go is uh, the newsletter is, I know, incredibly, incredibly late, but I am wrapping that up and sending that out. So if you're on my mailing list, you can look forward to that coming very soon to your inbox. And it's got a lot of the same things I'm describing to you here today with a few extra details, like about what happened on some of those trips, uh, things like that. And of course, the quarterly devotional, which also is now being posted as a separate post you can go back to on the blog if you're interested in rereading those. And then the last thing is waiting for an airplane to pass. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, the last thing is I am going to be writing a couple different posts about just hiking and backpacking during pregnancy and some of the things that I've learned along the way. And one of the topics I am most I guess excited or interested in sharing is encouragement for moms-to-be who in their first trimester can't get out there. It was so just frustrating being stuck and not able to get out and enjoy spring and early summer and all of that. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to sharing, like I said, uh, that I really didn't find a lot of advice or help for for myself <laughs> when I was going through it. I'm also planning on sharing some of my favorite like maternity hiking clothes. Let's be real, maternity clothes are like hideous and there's not a lot of good stuff out there for like the outdoors and athletic activity. Now obviously looks aren't everything but it's a very like self-conscious time. So it doesn't hurt to have some cute things that you feel confident hitting the trail in. And so I plan to share some of the things that I've found that fit me well uh, as my belly continues to grow. And it feels like nothing fits from day to day. The last one is just about tailoring routines and some of the stuff that I've done uh, to change up both like my camp routines and how I plan routes now and just all of those little changes that have had to be made and then like the silver lining to it. So I've got a couple of posts like that to share that will hopefully encourage any backpacking moms to be out there. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video and offering your congratulations. We are both just really, really excited. Um, just not only because there's a new person coming into the world that no one has ever met before, but because this is a new chapter of life. You know, there was this really great advice that I got in college from one of my professors. Uh, he said, they'll tell you guys not, not to get married to wait as long as possible, but the truth is there's some maturing you just can't do until you get married. And it's, the same way with parenthood. There's some growth and some maturing you just can't do until you step into that. And so we're both very excited for that growth and that maturing that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do unless we stepped into this next part of life. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind
still hiking? No, that's not an option.